cancer ascendant people what they will get in the month of april this is very interesting we are maybe we are waiting for this yes we ji here comes cancer ascendant so i have divided this uh, thing into three parts okay rohit ji and that is for each 10 of 10 days because that is how the transition or the transits are happening from april 1st to 10th 10th to 20th and 20th to 30th i'm i will be covering your planet transit as well as nakshatra transits during this time i cannot go in very much detail because everyone has a very different kind of natal chart, chart placement and different kind of dasha and dasha happening but i will try to cover as much as possible so that we can take the ben best benefit out of it so from april 1st to 10th sun will enter into revti nakshatra now revti nakshatra is a nakshatra of mercury sun is extremely comfortable here and it is entering into the ninth house that is the house of dharma so here the number one thing which you should understand is being dharmic during this time visiting temples or not visiting temples but still believing in god chanting the holy name and whatever religion you belong to reading ayats from quran or reading uh, uh, something from bhagavad gita or reading something from bible is very very important during this time because it is the fact the ninth house is also the house of higher education so here you need to get educated every day we need to get little bit of education in some or the other way that is very very important it feeds the mercury and sun the most okay now mercury will enter into aries on 31st march okay so it comes out of debilitation and it goes into aries and aries is the place where this is the career career house for a uh, cancer ascendant people roji they were facing a lot of trouble because just if you see saturn was putting the neech drishti here and rahu was sitting here rahu was in full power and it is said that rahu jiske das mein duniya uske bas mein but rahu sitting here sometimes can be, become a problem also because it can give you very very cynical approach in your career that you want to just uh, trouble this person go ahead and go forward and you you will not use your brain you will use your uh, uh, you will be very cunning that kind of cunning kind of uh, things which um, rahu gives here but mercury coming here is very very good rohit ji and mercury should be uh, should give very very good benefits here because the very good part is that mercury will enter into ashwini nakshatra and ashwini nakshatra is the nakshatra of ketu and ketu naksh ketu is a very very good friend of uh, mercury so there is no problem between them and in this nakshatra in whenever they come in this nakshatra here it says that uh, you know it wants to it is you know the nakshatra lord is ashwini kumar they are physicians to the god so any people who are connected to any medical field or anything they will have a lot of prosperity during this time lot of growth during this time but other than that those people who are not connected to that they will also feel a very very relief in their career and some intelligence or knowledge based decisions can be made then venus will enter into kritika nakshatra on 3rd of april okay kritika nakshatra is on the border of the aries and the taurus and you know it is just entering into taurus so it will be into kritika nakshatra and kritika nakshatra is nakshatra of sun so venus in the nakshatra of sun will not be so so harmful but yes we have to be careful about what kind of desires do we have because it is moving into the house of desires in the 11th house in its own house so if our desire is bad for a short term we will get that benefit but as soon as uh, you know uh, 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 sun takes the place in exaltation then it will give you a lot of trouble then venus will enter into taurus on april 2nd it is the 11th house for uh, cancer ascendant this is a very very good house for cancer ascendant in, in fact venus is just like a uh, like a raj yoga planet for them for cancer ascendant because it rules the 4th house of domestic peace and happiness and also the 11th house of gains so here you are supposed to your 100% supposed to get gains 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 lot of gains so now these gains is also coming your way moving forward rohit ji moving forward mercury will enter into bharni nakshatra bhav bharni nakshatra is again the nakshatra of venus and mercury entering into the nakshatra that means it will give little bit luxury because venus and mercury does not have any kind of enmity between them and they are like summer they are like okay with each other so it will again get lot of luxuries in terms of you know your uh, workplace workplace you will have little bit of luxury maybe very small thing if you get a new laptop or new ipad or you might win something at your workplace or maybe in your life also your father might give you some gifts that is the kind of energy which is present here now rohit ji this happens till 10th of april after that sun will 
enter into exaltation sun will come into the 10th house and this is the time they will shine in their career this is the time when you know if you say that rahu and sun are sitting together it's it becomes grahan and this and that but you have to understand that mercury also is sitting in this house and mercury is very powerful now the second counter question which will come is that why mercury is powerful if it is sitting in the house of aries it is enemy to mars just see mars position mars is sitting in the house of mercury and when mercury and mars are sitting in the opposite houses in in rashi parivartan that means they both have equal kind of power and they will not destroy their house which they are sitting in so rajit it's very technical here that sun will enter into this um, like april 14th is very very mysterious because april 14th sun will enter into aries in exaltation position secondly rahu mercury and sun will conjunct here so look there is a uh, like was three sum of all these planets and then after that venus will enter into rohini nakshatra now rohini nakshatra is a nakshatra of moon so venus will enter here and that nakshatra venus is not so bad it's kind of comfortable there and it will give you lot of emotional desires fulfill like if you are in love with someone you you will now be able to express this by because it is looking at the fifth house fifth house you know it, your love will be expressed you uh, you can uh, if you wanted to marry someone now things will start to materialize for you that kind of gains you will get when uh, venus gets into ashwini uh, rohini nakshatra suraj ji april 10 to 20th the moon main mantra is sun that means enrich your soul okay april 1st to 10th the main thing here is enrich your knowledge okay read read a lot get into get knowledge from april 10th to 20th enrich your soul do good deeds help someone help someone in your workplace help someone or like getting a job refer someone like if if you have free time ask your friend like if they need any help do do like help 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 social help your social circle this is what is required during this time now again roy ji the third phase comes here now that is 20th to 30th it will here we see this is what is going to happen jupiter the biggest transit of this year after saturn will be jupiter now jupiter will be entering into the 10th house of career amazing kind of um, experience you can get in your career this is a very very important month for cancer ascendant people in terms of career because there will be trillium there will be four planets together in the 10th house for you and jupiter wherever it comes and sits it demands it demands expansion of that house here it will demand expansion of this house those people who are wanting to take a house or wanted to take uh, you know property very very good time for you those people are thinking of getting into a new job very very good time but disclaimer here if you are going through sade sati second first second or third phase in fact third phase mostly third phase or second phase beginning no ways you should change your job right now okay those people are, are, who are in dhaiya that means if moon is present in the four or the eighth rashi they will also have to be very very careful in terms of changing job whatever your job you are in you can enhance yourself in this job only roji after that mars will enter into punarvasu nakshatra on 22nd of april that punarvasu nakshatra is a nakshatra of jupiter again mars will give you good results here there is no problem mars will give you good spiritual or good uh, like problems if you are facing related to your health you will be little bit relieved from here after that venus will enter into mrigashara nakshatra on 26th of april roji mrigashara nakshatra is ruled by mars okay and venus getting into this nakshatra means aggressively you will be working towards getting luxury which is should be avoided you know it can be loss also don't be aggressive in getting anything let naturally let it naturally come to you you cannot go and achieve something without it being in your kiss in your bhagya or in your destiny so just relax if something is going to be happening to you it will auto ha- happen automatically don't become aggressive then sun enters into bharni nakshatra on 20th of 28th of april so sun will be moving forward in 14 days like after 14 days it will enter into the another nakshatra that is bharni nakshatra and here rohit ji bharni nakshatra is again the nakshatra of transformation i told you mercury also entered bharni nakshatra now sun will also enter into bharni nakshatra here there will be a lot of transformation energy present and people will try to transform here they will try to transform in terms of becoming a better employee becoming a better businessman becoming a better 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 employer becoming a better person they will think about others that how do we give them gains 
because it is a kind of a start of a new cycle okay because jupiter is also coming here that means it has completed its own cycle for 12 houses and now starting fresh again so here for cancer ascendant people the main thing is start fresh baggage leave your old baggage behind and start fresh this is what i would like to tell for cancer ascendant for the month of april 2022